Uh, we can go live to Chicago now and speak to Carl Friedhoff, who's a career expert at the Chicago Council on Global Affairs. Carl, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Um, I'm not sure who's putting out the stronger message here, but what did you make, first of all, of North Korea's decision to, uh, to send a, a missile directly over Japan? It's gone a long old way, too. Yeah, you know, I think there are three key points here. And, and the first is that this is not wholly new. As you noted, uh, North Korea has done this previously in 2017. Uh, the second point is that this isn't over. North Korea is going to continue to test, whether it's a, an intermediate range ballistic missile, as this one was, or they may step up to an ICBM. But it seems nearly certain now that this is going to end in a nuclear test, perhaps at the end of October or in early November. And the third point is that this isn't really stoppable. Uh, no matter what the United States, South Korea, or Japan do, there's very little that they can do to stop North Korea from climbing up that ladder and continuing to test new weapons and new technologies. Do you think then that the exercises that the US, South Korea, and Japan have recently carried out does serve as a provocation or makes no difference? Uh, you know, North Korea will say that they see it as a provocation, but the reality is that North Korea is going to test these weapon systems no matter what is happening. You know, they were testing in January, they were testing, testing in February. This has been the busiest testing year uh, on record for North Korea. So, sure, it may be in direct response to what, what the United States and South Korea and Japan were doing with the anti-submarine exercises, but the reality is, is that North Korea doesn't need a reason to test, and, and in fact, uh, that at least not provided by the U.S., and it's most likely testing new systems and new weapons. You mentioned there that maybe by the end of the month even there could be a nuclear test. How much more disconcerting is that than the sort of thing we're seeing? It's almost a daily basis at the moment. Yeah, a, a nuclear test certainly raises uh, the ante, especially if they, they start to pair this with smaller nuclear tests and they start to develop tactical nuclear weapons. That is certainly going to be a concern. But, you know, if you look around the world, the media is, is less concerned about it. The countries seem less concerned, at least on the, the short range and intermediate range ballistic missiles. And I think this is part of a process that North Korea is carrying out uh, to try to normalize their weapons programs overall. Now, are they going to be able to nuclear, nu uh, <laughs> normalize their nuclear weapons program? Probably not. But on their, their missile programs, I think they're making a lot of progress on that. Yeah. OK, Carl Friedhoff, thank you very much indeed.